guys welcome back to another mod bros video today jacob and i are going to be um reviewing the shell strike um it's the follower to the trilogy and ultimately the successor to the sledge fire which we have right here we're going to be comparing the two this is this is stock and as you guys can see this is stock as well um i'm gonna go ahead and open this and give some thoughts on it because when this first came out I was not a huge fan of it mostly because I think it could have been done better um, storage down here is cool but I would have preferred a sort of vertical magazine that fits three shells instead so you can quickly eject a shell and have another one ready. I don't completely know the logistics behind it without thinking too much about it. Um, I think the shells are pretty whack, uh, to be honest. The sledge fire shells are just so much smaller and do basically the same thing. They both hold three darts. This one's thicker all around. Um, I mean, it's smoother. It doesn't have all these little angly bits on it, but it doesn't need to be this big. I, at least I don't think it needs to be that big because it it's sort of goofy. Like, I don't know if it like houses the darts better or something like that. They feel, this feels a little bit tighter but I don't know if that's just because this is new and this is a really old shell that I got used. But I think it's, I think the premise of a pistol shotgun is pretty cool. It's just a little, it, I really like how this looks. It's a nice tight package. Really interesting to look at. Yeah. Uh, really interesting to look at. Um, it's got the tiger stripes, much like the trilogy does. And I don't know. I don't. I think this is dumb, back here, because it's just it's so little. Jacob was telling telling me about this earlier. Um, for the dual strike, they have this massive plunger tube with a nice bit of draw. And this, it, it's made to fire three shots, whereas the Dual, dual strike at most was able to fire fire one and that just had a much bigger plunger tube compared to this because I don't know seems all right but I'll let Jacob say some things now while I go look for dual strike I mean that the handle comfy I oh, like that handle very comfy. <laughs> like honestly the handle is a very redeemable factor for this and honestly it's a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be when I first like saw pictures of it. So I do like that. Uh, shell ejection system seems to be all right. The having this spring loaded I think is good. It's weird how this moves the plunger tube so that when it's not primed, it's much harder to do the side lever because you need to compress the spring. Uh, I have no issue pressing the lever, uh, but I know other people have said that they have because they have smaller hands. So definitely think this is kind of a weird thing for like children since I think that lever might be a little, a little far for them to reach, but I'm a big fan of the concept of this thing, but execution, not so much. Uh, I will say this thing looks really nice integrated underneath something as like the single, single tube, like noob tube kind of thing. Like that looks cool. And I like how this primes to make it functional for that and work well with that but it's really just not hitting the mark for me like power wise and like mod ability wise either uh i don't know why hasbro refused to give you a third shell since it holds two here and then one in the chamber uh that doesn't make any sense to me but that's classic hasbro along with not painting one half the shell but whatever uh but honestly like this thing if it were easily modified and had a better plunger tube system, I could see this thing being a pretty fun primary since you could have a nice like single barrel up top, which would be really powerful. And then you could just like fire that off. And then if you need to, you can quickly swap out the shell for say a triple dart one or like 
a mega dart one just a bunch of like utility options this thing would be great but it's just oh see <laughs> i even forgot that i forgot you had to prime it and chamber it separately which is interesting i know i said that it was fine for the knockout but the knockout is much easier to use than this is <laughs> in all fairness and also the knockout had a priming indicator this has no form of a priming indicator whatsoever really yeah not that i can see yeah not even not even in there it's got 21 fps all right so tucker's been firing some darts through our chronograph of a sledge fire have you been firing just one dart through just one Okay, so I have one dart loaded in Sounds through more than one through the shell strike in the bottom of the shell, and like my assumption is that'll be more powerful just because of like how things have been released and whatnot. Fifty one. So yeah, like if we're wanting to compare these things purely sh stock, sure, the shell strike hits a little bit harder, is a little bit more comfortable because it's smaller and more compact, but. And all in all, the sledge fire we've seen do such great things uh, out there. Like the sledge fire can be made into such a great blaster. Yeah. Whereas this, from what I've seen online from other people who have done reviews or like tried to modify it, a few people that have gotten this thing and modified it, they were getting like maybe a hundred FPS out of firing a single dart and then it broke. <laughs> like we haven't taken this apart to look at the internals, but we've seen the internals posted online. It, the internals are just not that great. And like, I don't know how much Tucker t complained about these shells. They're weird. They're much bigger. They're bigger than a sh sledge fire shell. They do, how, do the same functionality. Hasbro already had these, mm -hmm. but instead they decided let's make a new one. Yeah, and it's not even like based on the same mold because it's bigger and longer. Is it? About the same thing. Are they? It looked longer. Yeah, it looked like a like, same length to me. I don't know. But this, still, it's just, it doesn't make sense. Like, this is, uh, this is a one-part mold for all this. Like, I literally don't even see any seams where they could possibly be glued together. Whereas this is several pieces held together with, like, a screw. This can't be cheaper for Hasbro to produce than this. Especially since they already had the molds for this and everything. And they had blasters and everything that worked on this. Or at least they had one. And then they go and make two blasters and a whole new shell version, which I'll give it, I'll give it the one benefit of having a larger shell is you can fit more into it like this. This kind of limits you on how many, how, what you can make the sledge fire fire since it's this size, making it a little bit bigger doesn't really increase your options that much. At least not in a reasonable thing. I just don't understand it from a business standpoint, like sure, Maybe Hasbro is doing the thing that they're doing with Ultra, where they saw people were making their own sledgefire shells, and they're like, we don't like that, let's make our new... <laughs> if anything, this is easier to make, because... It's, it's, it's just as simple to make, as we've seen. People have already started making versions of these yeah. on Thingiverse, so it doesn't really matter what Hasbro wants to do. It doesn't matter. And, like, also, the fact that the plunder tube moves is especially weird for if you want to mod this thing to be great, because having a moving plunder tube does not help with consistency and seals and whatnot. They could have easily put a spring, like on the sledge fire, a spring that held the shell back instead of pushing the plunder tube forward with a spring. Yeah. Like, I've never liked the strong arm or any, really any of the revolver, any of the turret fed blasters that their seal relies on the plunder tube being pushed forward by a spring. I've, I've just never liked that. I and mean, it just doesn't seem like a good idea for this. Yeah, because it's Hard to get, anyway, it's hard to get good performance out of something that doesn't have like an, something overlapping something for that kind of seal. All right, you were right. The shell design is good. It but is <laughs> only slight. This is like, I don't know, digital. It's digital, and then this one is tiger stripes. But yeah, so Tucker mentioned a thing that I was harping on a little bit earlier when we were just talking about this is that the dual strike could have easily been made to do what it does off of like a fire strike plunder tube but instead they gave it a plunder tube similar to a long shot with a really comfy prime and a really strong catch system which is great people love the dual strike because you can make it into something really cool i don't understand why when they were making something like this they decided to give it <laughs> shit shit 
like uh from what i've seen the way this catch system works is similar to how you would on a uh side strike mm -hmm. like it's it's not a standard guillotine catch it holds onto the plunger head all weird which makes upgrading weird i'm like sure this is asbro trying to stop models from doing stuff but it's just annoying i don't get this and i'm a big fan of this concept i would love to have a single shot i would love a. I would love this if it were just that <laughs> like honestly that I, i'll wait until somebody does that first and then be like yeah you you did better than hasbro could have done and like sure it'll be a little bit difficult because you have to keep the one two able to move in order to make this thing actually work with the latch mechanism and the seal and whatnot. But honestly, if you just make, uh, this plunder tube looks like it might be, I don't know, maybe it's my brain just saying that it's slightly bigger just because I want it to be. But if it's slightly bigger than the dual strike plunder tube, or like any plunder tube you can find, you can easily make it so that that plunder tube seal inside of this plunder tube and then you can still have this move, whereas the rear part stays in place. I think that could be pretty cool. And like this thing, it's very open to throw in whatever shells you want and then you can make that thing open up in the middle to have better airflow you can make this thing great but it's gonna require an entire overhaul of just how this works a lot of integration a lot of shell work a lot of integration a lot of shell work literally even if you if you if you prime it and pull the trigger you can see the breech moves which cannot be good <laughs> yeah like seeing this thing wiggle around cannot be good for getting decent performance so I hate, I hate, <laughs> there's a, there's a rail there for some reason, and they could easily have put just a rail here, since you have a prime here, they could easily made this part of the shell slightly taller and put a rail there, but instead they're like, nah, they want a rail on the bottom. They want that forward. Yeah. That's what they need. Uh, but yeah, I, I've seen people that have cut off the, the shell storage, and that looks like it's a very comfortable secondary type thing that they could make holsterable. But this currently fits in a weird place in my mind where if you cut that off, you can make this a really nice secondary. If you keep it on, you can almost make this a really nice primary if you change basically how it works. <laughs> and it's just kind of annoying. Yeah, I I don't fully understand it either. I have plans, maybe there are loose plans. We love the sludge fire. <laughs> yeah, sludge fire is really great. I have loose plans for something like this. Like I said earlier, I'd like a vertical mag fed shell firing blaster and uh, to be like a secondary a really fun primary but i don't know how possible that is but it's sort of it's just sort of something that could be cool if was possible but this the shell strike followed the trilogy i don't know why the sledge fire never got a pistol version of itself so the sledge fire is just better. Like, you remove the stock on the sledge fire, and then you already have a better blaster than this, in my opinion. Being able to prime it by opening it and having a spring-loaded shell ejection is just better. The plunder tube on this thing is girth, which is great. It can take spring upgrades. The catch is strong and sturdy. I don't know. I think I've seen, like, 230 out of one of these. It's amazing. But for some reason... I think Trip Miller got 250. But for this. some reason, yeah. But for some reason, they said they were done with this system. And they need a whole new system with the trilogy and this. Which is just worse. The trilogy is terrible. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> like, I won't say this is terrible just because I love how it feels. And, like, it's it's looks, cool. it's feels, and it's premise are cool for $15. The trilogy at 35 is not. <laughs> also funny thing they made the knockout have an ambidextrous level release this doesn't yeah for some reason <laughs> i don't know why that would be a thing. Uh, oh dude you want to know what i'd love to see i'd love to see some re chain release to take the fucking <laughs> yeah remake it so that it uses sledge fire shells instead then you'd be cooking well i mean you also have to change you know the one too all right, well, I've seen, I feel like I've ranted enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much else we want to say on this because I don't know how everyone feels about the shell strike. I've seen a lot of positive things and I've seen a few negatives. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's just because 
people like the way it looks or the, the idea of it that actually haven't fired it or looked too much into it. But solid 4 out of 10. It's not great. And those four points are because the looks, the ergonomics, and what it could be if you're willing to put a lot of work into it. Yeah, and how it would be really nice if you just, say, forget all this. Yeah. And, like, honestly, like, the harp on just how good the Sledge Fire cells are. They're just the best. They fit three darts, and they're the most compact three dart thing that you can get. Like, I was looking at a Spring Thunder as, like, a nice shotgun, and honestly, if there were, like, a pistol Spring Thunder that was one shell version, that would be great, except the one thing I don't like about the Spring Thunder is they don't have the, they have a two dart elite, not a three. It won't fit three, which I think is kind of weird. And so honestly, all I want is just like a shell fed secondary one shot that fires three elites that can also be single down to hit 200. But they couldn't do it with this. <laughs> so sad times, big disappointment. Big if loss. I ever, if I ever find one at a thrift store and I have a dual strike, I'll probably put them together if nobody's done that yet. But I don't know. Probably. <laughs> Actually, I say I probably won't, but I probably will find one of these at a thrift store. Probably. <laughs> um, or if they go on sale. How much did you say it was already? It was 15. 15? Five mm -hmm. more than a knockout, a lot worse than a knockout. On sale? Could maybe get it down to like eight at yeah. Walmart. Well, I'll this be on is, the for sales. This is a loss. I would not recommend buying it unless you do stock only wars or if you have plans to do a complete overhaul. Mm hmm. Until I see someone using using this and getting good performance, I, I don't think it's going to work. Like, I like how that spring retracts, but also they could have easily just made this thing have like a T-handle. I don't like how back. it can't fit two fingers. Oh yeah, that's comfortable. <laughs> that's an interesting thing, how the handle is honestly bigger than I would need it to be. The release is honestly like at the very end of where like it's comfortable for me. But then this is too small to fit two fingers. So it has to be one. And it's not really like even ergonomically shaped for one. Yeah, definitely. Which is weird. Like, we both have bigger hands, so it might be more geared to a child. No, but like, that's what I'm saying. We have large hands. We have large and hands. The, and the handle, the handle is, everything is geared towards bigger handed people. Yeah, the handle is larger than I need, which, I mean, doesn't make it bad for like a small hand, handed person. But like a child hand might not be able to reach that. Speaking of well, child hand, I'll go grab Sawyer. Yeah, go grab Sawyer and we'll see if he can do it. But like, this is a little bit far for maybe like some very small children. But then this is size for them. And also it just doesn't prime very well. It just feels really weird. I don't like it. Like, they could have made this thing have a slide, like the strong arm, and I would have been more fine with that. Honestly, I would have been about that. All right, Tucker, hear me out. Yeah. If this had a slide like the strong arm, yeah, having a slide where you could grab it like this, like a Kronos or something, would make it so much better. Eat. All right, so we need you to hold the blaster. Okay. Tell oh, us how comfortable that. it is. See if you can. Yeah, stay in camera. Stay in camera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hold that and see how easily it is to fit the weapon with your one hand. God. See, it's a little hard for him because he's got smaller hands compared to us. So sort of see if you can fit two fingers in there. Yeah. Is it comfortable? No. Nope. Can't even comfortably <laughs> fit two fingers for a small, well, Small child. I yeah, mean, I do have it. massive fingers, though. But not compared to us. I don't know. So that just proves like, our point. It's not even comfortable for a child. Like, I can do that. Handles very comfy. Triggers very nice right there where I need it to be. But this, this is just shit. No other way to put it. Like, maybe if they did like maybe either this yeah, or, pull. or had like a the, like the like he said the chronos thing yeah the that could line. be better so yeah they, there's so much that they could have easily done better it also just lowered the this like yeah. why lowered it put it on both sides or just yeah so <laughs> rating still stands four out of ten <laughs> four out of ten we'll pick up at a thrift store though just to make it not trash yeah, so I might combine these two. I don't know. I might return it. I I would say three and a half. Sork is it three and a half? Even Jacob, worse. Do you keep it at four and a half? Yeah, I'll keep it at four out of ten. Yeah, that's an average of what? Four, three point eight, three point nine. Sucks. Bad gun. Don't get it. Have you shot it? So if you guys like this video, if you have similar feelings on the side of the shell strike, um, 
tell us. Or if you don't, you you have other feelings and you think it's a good blaster, tell us as well in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. And feel free to hit the bell icon. We have videos coming out every week on Wednesday at about noon Mountain Standard Time. Uh, we have an uh, Patreon now, so if you want to go over there, if you really like the channel, you want to help us out, make more videos, newer blasters, help our projects get funded. Big help. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.